I come from a big Irish Catholic family. Uh, this past Easter, went to church with my mom, and it was the first time I've been to church since, uh, I don't know, like one of the other Easters, I guess. <laughs> I was kind of afraid I was gonna forget some of the Catholic choreography. <laughs> like, there's a lot of memorization that has to happen before the Catholic Mass. Didn't want to mess up my lines in front of mom. <laughs> but I was doing great till I got in line for communion, got up to the priest, and then the priest said, body of Christ. And I, and I blanked. <laughs> and my response to body of Christ was cool. <laughs> Which is incorrect, turns out. The correct response is amen. By the way, if you're ever in church and don't know what to say, amen's a pretty good go-to. You're never gonna be that wrong with an amen, no matter when you throw it out there. Worst case scenario, the priest will be like, not yet, but I like where your head's at. <laughs> Definitely getting to one. Think I gotta start working out more? I think that, because I just had a fat doctor tell me I'm overweight, so... <laughs> it's not a great sign. He was a very fat doctor, and he told me, you're 6'2", 200 pounds, according to the BMI chart, the body mass index, that's technically overweight. And I was like, um... <laughs> you're overweight. <laughs> And I swear to God, his response was, oh yeah, big time. <laughs> and that was it, that was the end of the medical advice. <laughs> then we just high-fived and split a plate of mozzarella sticks. <laughs> it's like, welcome to the lifestyle, brother. <laughs> and I know I'm not obese, but I have gained 30 pounds since college. I now have the makings of my first gut. Thank you. When you get your first gut, you learn some things. For instance, did you guys know it's possible if you got one of these going on, that when you bend down to tie your shoes, you can just completely run out of oxygen. <laughs> surprise, I didn't know that. That was a surprise. It was also a surprise to me specifically how many pounds I weighed because I don't step on scales in my life. I don't step on scales for the same reason that I don't ask for a receipt at the ATM. <laughs> I know the numbers are gonna bum me out. <laughs> I know how I'm living. They just opened up a, a dollar store right next door to where I live in Queens and I went in to check out the merchandise. Most of it was pretty regular dollar store stuff, but one thing surprised me, they were selling Pregnancy tests. <laughs> At the dollar store. I feel like that's for the lady who doesn't really want to know if she's pregnant. <laughs> it's like she wants to have a ballpark idea. But she does not want to have a definite reason not to drink tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> And it's weird where they were selling it to. It's up at a cashier, by the candy bars and the gum. Like someone's gonna buy a pregnancy test as an impulse buy. <laughs> at the store, like, yeah, I think I'm good to go with my paper plates. That's the main thing going on in my life right now. Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. I might be a mom, totally spaced <laughs> on that minor life detail. I want a major medical diagnosis, but I don't want to pay more than I would for like a king size Snickers. So just throw that <laughs> right in there. I feel like at that point, you just take a king-size Snickers, pee on it, get the same accuracy, <laughs> medically speaking. <laughs> I don't want to brag, uh, but I do have a pretty clean criminal record. Uh, but when I was 14, I did get busted at a Walgreens trying to steal condoms. And if you had seen me at 14, you would know how wildly optimistic <laughs> that move was. 
apparently I just wanted to make sure I'd be practicing safe abstinence <laughs> for a while. But the worst part is I got busted by an 80-year-old lady and she made me a deal. She said, I'll tell you what, I won't call the cops if you agree to talk to me about why you made this choice. <laughs> so I said, okay. So she took me back to the Walgreens thieves interrogation room. <laughs> and her first question was, now, did you do this because you're in love? And I was like, you know what, just call the cops. Uh, <laughs> to work here, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of remember seeing you around. <laughs> I've I, I walked the halls a yeah, bit. Yeah, things have been going pretty well for you. Yeah, great now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Very funny, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. here in Chicago at the uh, Underground Comedy Playhouse. <laughs>